The lives of many doctors and health workers as well as the public has been taken away by COVID-19. Now people are very much aware about the need to take vaccination against COVID-19. In the first phase, COVID vaccine is given to the frontline workers, that is the health workers and police and the like. Vaccination has started one month back in India. We are using Covaxin and Covin Shield. Both of them are administered in two doses. But when media reported that only one out of 10 have come back to take the second dose, it was a bit alarming and caused a slight panic. Why was the health workers reluctant to take the second dose? Whether the abduction from taking the second dose will affect the herd immunity? For an official and authentic answer, Dow News approached the executive director of Kerala Social Security Mission, Dr. Mohammed Ashif. He clarified the matter and assured that a few days of delay in taking the second dose of vaccine will not affect the herd immunity. It's actually very early to be very, very concerned about that because if you look, the, the, it's, uh, the, uh, the vaccination program in India has been going fairly well and we have around 8 million vaccinations done uh, till now. So, uh, though it's a very, very small when compared to the various population, uh, population proportions when compared to many, state, many nations like Israel, uh, the US, UK, uh, maybe uh, the population basis it's, it's low, but uh, in absolute numbers, uh, we are having 8 million doses done. But when we say about this, uh, the, uh, the second dose, second dose when it's to around uh, the one out of eight, it was reported that one out of 10 people only took the second dose. But it's too early to be concerned about that because when we say that uh, the, it is to be taken after 28 days, it doesn't mean that you need to take on the 28 day itself. It can be, a, uh, even in uh, in our hospitals, it said that uh, it's like uh, if you take this this month, you can take this month 16th, the, and then next month also you can take it on 16th itself. So that, uh, so in the following days, uh, there may be m much more compliance to this. And also, there is a factor that yesterday it was a, uh, it was a uh, holiday, so people not, may not have opted for that. So, uh, so it, and there is enough, enough evidence to say that it's, you need not take it on the 20th day itself. If, if you take the, uh, take the reports and studies from the UK, what they say is that they are actually in their, in their plan, they have actually kept it uh, to, it can be delayed to 6 to uh, 12 weeks. And there are enough studies to prove that the strategy is really working there. Uh, 6 to 12 weeks is okay with that. But now, uh, on 28 day, like, we, we, it's then, but our program, as per our state's national program, it's 28 days is that. But after 28 days, I think the compliance would be higher itself. It's, we don't actually be concerned, it's too early to be concerned about that. And when we talk about the uh, um, compliance to this, uh, the vaccination program, that there, there was a vaccination hesitancy earlier with regard to Covishield and Covaxin. But now when the health workers have started taking that, I mean, lakhs of health workers have already taken Covaxin and uh, the compliance is fairly good also. And also the other thing is that uh, the, after the first dose, few developed a fever, but no major symptoms were uh, there or major complications were there. So that actually means in the conference also. So I don't think it's because of any kind of vaccine hesitancy or resistance to vaccine, the second dose is not being taken. It's just a matter of time and I think it will be uh, covered up. And uh, when it comes to herd immunity, uh, the, in order to achieve the herd immunity per se, we have a much more, it's a long way to go actually. We need to actually scale up the vaccination like anything and we are we think that it is in the third phase we, we need to actually start much more vaccination than we are doing in the uh, first or second phase so i think we need to focus on increasing the increasing the vaccination uh, centers increasing the, uh, the with an effective communication strategy we need to uh, bring back people to uh, or, or bring the people to take that and based on our strategy, India has a fairly good strategy of actually focusing upon priority group. That is uh, health workers, the, uh, the frontline workers, people above 60 years and people with complications, people, people below 60 years with uh, uh, major diseases. So uh, this strategy works, li works like and if you are able to cover the, all these 30 crore people, that's the target which we have on to cover in June, July. So if you are able to do that, we would have a fairly a good coverage uh, considering the fact that we have a, uh, that uh, already a zero prevalence of 21 percentage would uh, the, uh, the whole India. So we would actually be able to be uh, uh, getting off this disease or killing the pandemic by end of uh, June, July. So uh, the vaccination program is a big, uh, it's a big uh, boost to these, all these things. but. We need to be uh, uh, we need to be cautious that we don't actually skip the, uh, the second dose. Second dose is important. It's not that it's not important. It's very important, but uh, it's okay that it's not, need not be panic that it is delayed by two or three days. 
It has been reported in UK and some other foreign countries that the duration to take the second dose can be extended up to 6 to 12 weeks. But the difference in the vaccine and duration in taking the second dose will affect the efficacy of the vaccine. In India, we are using both Covishield and Covaxin and there is a difference of opinion and the efficacy of both vaccines. The vagueness surrounding this also was cleared by Dr. Rashi. Like vaccines, the technology of vaccines or the science of vaccine is very solid and there is no, 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 no space for actually controversy or space for any, uh, any kind of skepticism when it comes to science of vaccine. Vaccine science is pretty well developed and, uh, and it's very time, time tested also. Uh, when it comes to the vaccines per se, there are many types of vaccine which includes uh, uh, new generation vaccines and old generation vaccines and old generation vaccines includes primarily of killed viral vaccines. Uh, the killed viral vaccines is primarily one of uh, the killed viral, one kind of killed viral vaccine is Covaxin, uh, Sinopharm, Sinovac, many other vaccines are also a killed virus vaccine. So killed virus vaccine is something which has been time tested and we have been following it for almost centuries. So we can be very sure about the, the science behind that. So no, no, no need to be confusing, uh, confusing that with uh, any kind of a newer uh, trial kind of thing. Because when we try trial, it it's, it's, it's actually sounds another thing that we, we are not quite sure about the technology. But it's, uh, it's a very uh, sure, robust technology what, we, what is being used. Even for uh, the new generation vaccines like uh, Pfizer vaccine, that is mRNA vaccine, and the Covishield vaccine, which is a Covishield or Oxford vaccine, which is another uh, viral vector vaccine. All the technology behind that and the science behind that is very solid. And there are enough studies for looking at this preclinical clinical data from many other uh, uh, sources also. So uh, when, when we look at the, uh, but however, when we, when we say about developing a vaccine, it primarily has six steps. That is, first is the exploratory st stage the preclinical stage, the clinical stage, which again has one, two, three, clinical phase one, phase two, phase three trials. And we have an approval stage, we have a manufacturing stage and also a quality control stage. So when we when we go for emergency use authorization in kind of pandemics, we actually club in many of these or parallelly do many of these steps. But what is not being compromised or not should, uh, is not really compromised is the uh, clinical trial. So clinical trial, when again it comes when there is phase one, phase two, phase three trial, Many of the uh, vaccines were approved uh, during their phase 3 trial, during their phase 3 trial with an interim report. But uh, uh, the Covaxin, when, it was when the discussion was in January 3rd, when the vaccine was uh, approved, there was no many skeptical and uh, many were skeptical, even, even I was very skeptical about that, uh, saying that it's in the phase 3 trial, so we don't have enough data. But few data and some, I think some strong data actually came out after that. So I'm not actually cynical about Covaxin as, it, as, I, as I was in uh, January 3rd. Uh, so and most of the scientists I think would be uh, would be concurring to that. So we uh, he, and we have been giving it to uh, many of the people. The lakhs of people have already taken the vaccine, and there is no so serious complications reported. So, and that and uh, uh, when we have what we have now is that we can actually divide the we divide the properties of vaccine primarily the properties which concern the people. Uh, we can actually divide it to three. One is the safety concerns you so covid shield covaxin are safe no no doubt about that the second one is the efficacy efficacy thing efficacy when you look at the uh, covid shield vaccine or oxford vaccine we have the data showing that it's around 70 percent effective and uh, where, uh, when you look at uh, uh, covid shield covaxin that's that's the area where we we confuse that whether it's around 60 percent or 70 percent so the confusion is whether only with regard to the percentage of its efficacy nothing else so you don't have to worry about its safety, it's about efficacy data, but anyway, it would be uh, as per the studies on the phase one and phase two trial and also looking at the studies from similar vaccines across the globe and also looking at the immunogenicity data from other lab laboratory studies and also looking at the, trial, uh, the trials based on uh, the other uh, variants and all, we can fairly believe that it would be, it would be having a very good efficacy. So it's the it's a learned decision. It's not something of an arbitrary decision or something like that. But and but the concern forms are being uh, 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 being signed because uh, this data may be used for a trial. That's the basic thing. Uh, uh, why we are concerned when people get people get scared when you write a concern of uh, sign on a consent form. So there's nothing to be worried about that. And there is an another part. There's an another part in that. The third for property of this would be looking at the on on looking at the variants. On, uh, for variants, for example, if the UK variant, the South African variant, there are many variants. So if you look at the AstraZeneca uh, Oxford vaccine, 
or the the, the parent vaccine of our covid shield vaccine that efficacy for this uh, uh, south african strain is just 10 percentage which means that it would not be effective if south african strain actually gets a uh, bigger hand but when you talk at the covaxin covaxin have another property th typically that uh, the killed vaccine has another property that they focus on the entire virus than, than just on the spike protein because when the spike protein gets uh, like the spike protein gets kind of a, a transformation or its its anatomy or its body changes its shape changes then uh, probably our pfizer vaccine and our astrazeneca vaccine would be less effective whereas that of covaxin and the killed virus vaccine would be much more effective in such kind of situation so go ahead with the covaxin no issues with that but you need to understand that the forms are uh, for when you need not be like you don't be confused with uh, whether uh, you are part take part in a study or you are uh, uh, or else you are actually take part in a study it's no issues but uh, having taken part in the study is not a crime actually it's a uh, it's good for a science and you are take, taking part in a, in a in a study which is almost having a expected result now all around the world vaccines with two doses are taken that means people have to remember the second dose and the day and come back to take it the possibility of a single dose vaccine is researched by the companies and one vaccine is under development as a single dose we hope that the administration of the vaccine in a single dose will reduce the attrition rate and vaccination will be more effective single dose vaccine always have an advantage that uh, uh, if once if if you have a single dose it's probably that your compliance would be uh, better that is uh, when you have a single dose you don't have to bother about the second dose so obviously the the attrition to, uh, from single dose to second dose would be uh, the first dose second dose should second dose is not there so uh, at the same time another advantage is that uh, the single dose uh, the 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 people would also be Uh, taking it more, I think I, that would be a kind of a uh, there would be increased compliance to this vaccine also. Uh, the single dose which is being considered now is uh, the uh, the Johnson and Johnson vaccine, and it's now in in the phase three trial. So that phase three trial is happening in South Africa also. So that is something which is actually uh, actually being a uh, being a positive point because the, it's also being tested on South African strain. so the south african strain which is now to ha now found to have actually uh, have a vaccine escape on our astrazeneca covid shield vaccine or or astrazeneca oxford vaccine that is covid shield vaccine uh, this is the the johnson johnson vaccine is found to be effective against them as of now it's the uh, phase 3 trial running uh, it's now uh, phase 3 trial running and happening so and uh, the as uh, when the first dose vaccine comes it would uh, it would be uh, that also it always depends upon the cost factor the how much a single dose of vaccine causes so uh, if the single dose causes more than the sec uh, two doses of another vaccine then again that would be another concern so anyway the first dose single dose vaccine theoretically has an advantage over the first uh, or double dose vaccine the discussion about which vaccine to be taken whether it is covid shield or covaxin continues in the bureaucratic circles as well as among health workers and it will go on but one thing is sure we need to take the covid vaccine it is our responsibility towards us and our fellow human beings down news trivandrum down news ningalde vaartha ningaloduppam ningalde viril thumbil